Welcome to the Earth Science Classroom. Welcome back to the channel that shows all about Earth Science and videos and lectures and how to teach this amazing subject. So we are on a very large case study. Uh, I say it's large because I'm going to break into like four or five different videos and looking at the East African Rift Valley system. All right. So looking at this huge, massive, ongoing divergent plate boundary spreading center, the start of an, uh, a new ocean right through the center of one of the largest continents on the planet, uh, Africa, and going up into the Middle East. So this is steeped in history, this area. It's steeped in um, the ancestral origins of humans and homo sapiens and going through basically 6,000 kilometers of amazing landscapes from Central Africa and the, and the Kalahari and the Serengeti up through, uh, you know, adjacent to Egypt and the pyramids and up into the Middle East and all that history for the last two, 3,000 years. We're going to look at it in terms of the tectonics. Now, the video is going to look at the geography, the geography and the tectonics. So what's actually going on and where is it located? We're going to look at uh, the different sections of this massive uh, rift valley system. So looking at the, uh, the Afar uh, Triangle and the Depression and the what's called the Trill Point. Okay, we're going to look at the uh, branches, which is part of the section, sorry. The branches, got the western branch and the eastern branch. We're going to look at the volcanoes and the magmatic material and the, uh, the flood basalts as well mainly in the triangle, and we're also going to look at the Great Lakes. Not the Great Lakes in America, but the Great Lakes in Africa. These are some of the deepest lakes uh, on the planet because of the Rift Valley system. Uh, only uh, is second behind Lake Baikal in uh, Russia. Again, another rift system in Russia, in Eurasia. Uh, so yeah, that's the uh, overview, and today, today's video is going to be on the geography and tectonics. So guys, come join me. All right, so if we look at geography. All right, so first we'll look at the uh, the East African Rift Valley System, or for sure is EARS, which sounds strange, but it is. And I'm just going to highlight where this, this amazing rift system is located. So uh, there is, oh, what we're showing here is the the western branch is also an eastern branch right here as well. And there's also a southeast system right here as well. But you have this pretty much, this right here is the East African Rift Valley system. Now it does go into the Middle East and down as close to uh, as South Africa, but you have this very long connected system of rifts right on the eastern part. So if you just uh, you know cut Africa in half, this is West Africa in terms of there. And then, well, this is like basically, uh, what if, if uh, the prime meridian is right here, and this is like 15 degrees uh, east kind of uh, meridian, uh, you have East Africa here. So it's pretty much all in East Africa. Um, and that's kind of what we're looking at in terms of this whole video, this whole case study, and we can bring the sections. So the first section will be on the plate tectonics and the geography of it, you know, what countries are involved. Um, and I'll see, then we'll look at the uh, the trill point, which is right here, the Afar Depression, right here, where these three uh, plates meet, or they are divide, uh, diverging away from each other. And I'm looking at the, uh, the western branch right here, the eastern branch, the volcanoes, which are literally lined through this vitrify system, a bunch of shield volcanoes, a couple of stratos or complex volcanoes like Mount Kilimanjaro, Mount Kenya, and also the Great Lakes of um, Africa, which are located mostly in, in this location right here. There are some lakes up in the Afar Depression, lakes up here, and the Gulf of Aden or the Red Sea here, but the Great Lakes are mostly in Central Africa. So let's add some more detail onto this map. Okay, so first look at the tectonics, all right? Let's look at the, the large scale, um, both major 
and minor plates that are involved. Uh, major plates based on the, the area size that it covers, whether they're oceanic or continental. Now, we have um, some major plates involved. Okay, we have the South American plate right here. Right there. Okay, we have the African plate right here. You'll hear me talk about the Nubian plate as well. That's pretty much the Nubian plate is a uh, in the future plate that once uh, in millions of years the Rift Valley does spread further and separate Africa into separate plates. This African plate will no longer be called the African plate, it'll be called the Nubian plate, and over here will be called the Somalian plate after the Somalian peninsula over here in the country of Somalia. So these are two smaller plates that will be created because of this Rift Valley system in the future. You have the minor plate which is the arabian plate right here the ap you have the large eurasian plate up here you have the smaller micro plates or minor plates of the aegean plate and the anatolian plate right here over turkey and greece and the mediterranean right here you have europe up there or the part of the eurasian plate you have the uh this is basically this is all the african plates so this is still the african plate over here um down here and then over here you have the Antarctic plate okay over there and over here we have the Indo-Australian plate which connects up with India and Australia and goes on that way so the African plate is obviously very large you know this is the African plate so over here we have the uh, mid-ocean ridge or mid-Atlantic ridge right here so this area here is the mid-Atlantic ridge okay and it connects up down here and under here connects up all right and this is our connected um oceanic divergent plate boundary the long continuous chain of undersea volcanoes and basaltic lava coming through with the spreading centers as discussed in seafloor spreading and um with Hess and the Wilson cycle and all this good stuff. And also it connects through. So we have here, there we go, connects through into the into the uh into the uh East African Rift Valley. Now I have done a mixture of blues and greens on this map, right? So the blue is our classic divergent plate boundary. Now as before, as a, as stated in our video, which is separate separate from this. On these kind of plate boundaries is that in between the, the, the area where they're spread in or divergent area there's lots of areas of transform plate boundaries because the plates aren't breaking uniformly they're breaking in sections and and pieces that um, they are intertwined with transform plate boundaries as you can see like all, all through here for the Eurasian plate you have all these areas of green the northern part of the map here and around here um, where there's tons and tons of transform plate boundaries whereby the plates are sliding past each other and in between there are areas where they are separating and, and diverging away. That's very important to, to take note of. So on the left here I just listed out the, the major plates in M um, versus the minor plates in the MI and also we have some fracture zones and some ridges so the ridges are part of the uh, divergent plate boundary so it can either be a ridge or rise ridge are more steeper more abrupt uh, narrower and a rise is much more broader uh, and wider so again video, I video that as well if you want to look into that in more detail but mostly they are ridges with so the mid-atlantic ridge here with the southwest indian ridge over here okay um down here in this area here going up into here now over here we have the the carlsberg ridge which is right here okay so the carlsberg ridge we also have the azores or azores ridge up here coming from the middle ocean ridge and kind of like separating africa with eurasia so that's the azores uh ridge or fracture zone basically now a fracture zone is an area where there's limited movement but still a break between the two the two um two plates basically 
All right. So there is some convergent plate boundaries as well. So we do have all three on this map. So divergent, transform, and convergent. Convergent is going to be up here in the Mediterranean. So up here where the African plate is going to uh, converge with the Eurasian plate and other small plates like Aegean and Antonian plate, which creates the volcanoes around the Mediterranean, such as Mount Etna, Stromboli, Vesuvius, uh, some volcanoes in Greece and Crete and Cyprus and Turkey and some erogeny in Turkey as well, uh, mountain belts, that, that area as well. So there's, we have everything on this map really, uh, plus the continental rift valley system. If I just erase this stuff right here, you can also see that I've drawn in pencil on this map the uh, directions of plate movement, which is very important. Obviously, with divergent, you know that they're going away from each other. With transform, they're sliding past, so I haven't really done that too much with the arrows. And also with convergent, they are colliding and coming towards each other. So it's very important, obviously, in the, the uh, East African Rift Valley system is to n notice the direction of movement around this area here. So we are separating along this blue and green line we're separating the plates and you know in the future 5 10 20 million years in the future there's going to be a separation of this large african plate this large continent um, into two separate or even three separate smaller plates or minor plates they're going to rearrange themselves into different um, you know sequence basically so in addition to the plate tectonics the ridges and the different boundaries that kind of create the the East African Rift Valley and, and not to be purely just scientific we need to also appreciate that there are countries and people living in this area around this area and have been for you know for hundreds of thousands of years I mean you know they've done some studies and they found various early homonyms uh, of of homo sapiens uh, dating back to the first um, you know female uh, called Lucy uh, 3.6 million years ago uh, around the Afar depression and this area right here so you know this this part of the world really relates to our species directly uh, in in the origins and and when we start walking on two legs and using tools and all that good stuff but modern day countries are located here and Africa is an amazingly large continent with with tons of amazing countries and we have to appreciate this so let's start in the north so we do have the african rift valley system go into the middle east and go into areas like lebanon jordan um and uh going parallel to like saudi arabia and the middle east up here um there's syria up here there's jordan um and obviously egypt is up here in the top right hand corner of africa uh sudan so we have egypt and also the Red Sea is right here, right there. You have the Gulf of Amman, oh, Adan, sorry, right here, all right, which is uh, adjacent to the countries of Yemen, Oman up here, and Somalia in this kind of peninsula of Africa right here, this point. We have Sudan, which is a huge country right here. You do have Eritrea, which is right here, very small country, Eritrea. You have Djibouti right here next to Somalia, all right, and obviously through Sudan into countries like uh, Kenya, Uganda. Uh, right here, this is actually Lake Victoria. Right here is Lake Victoria, which we'll get into later on on the Great Lakes. You have the countries of Tanzania and Kenya, Uganda around Lake Victoria. You have smaller countries like uh, Rwanda, Burundi, kind of adjacent to this and next to the uh, Democratic Republic of Congo, which is a very large country in Central Africa right here. You've got uh, Malawi, which is this very long linear country that goes around Lake Malawi. Again, you have Mozambique right here, Tanzania up here, uh, Madagascar, awesome, uh, and Zambia down here and down into South uh, Africa. So you have um, seven main countries that are located around this Rift Valley system, but there are also a lot more countries surrounding the area that we can't ignore countries like egypt and saudi arabia and rwanda burundi so they they are and zambia they are close but they're not exactly on the rift valley system so this kind of uh sets the scene on what we can do with um with this rift valley system in general 
and the next uh, videos, we're going to look into uh, how how uh, the system was created, how it formed, okay, different ways of formation, and the outcomes, the, the product of the formation. So in terms of the sections of this Rift Valley system, in terms of the two domes and two cratons and the lakes and the volcanoes and the plateaus that were formed. So this is all going to be uh, discussed in the other videos. So please check it out and uh, thanks for watching.